Hi everyone, in this presentation, we are going to see numericals on charge. In basic electrical engineering series 1, we have seen what is charge, what are protons, what are electrons. In this session, we are going to see what are the values and formulas that are related to charge. Okay, you know, charge of proton is plus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. Charge of electron is minus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb and the magnitude of charge is given by 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb right suppose if uh, n number of electrons are present in a material we need to find out what is total charge so total charge q we can find by multiplying the number of electrons into charge of one electron okay so the total charge is given by the formula q is equal to n into e right from the expression of current we can get what is charge q is equal to i into t and from the expression of voltage or potential difference we can find what is the expression of charge so we know potential difference is equal to work done per charge so, on rearranging, we get Q is equal to W by V. We'll see what are all the unit prefixes. Milli is 10 to the power minus 3. Micro is 10 raised to minus 6. Kilo, 10 raised to 3. Mega, 10 raised to 6. We shall see what are all the units for various quantities. SI unit of charge is Coulomb. Voltage, volts, current, ampere, work done joule time seconds so having known all these things it is very easy for us to go with the problems so let us see the very first problem calculate the number of electrons constituting one coulomb of charge so here we have charge so charge is given one coulomb and we need to find the number of electrons that is n okay so what all the data is given we need to write and what we need to find is n so what is the relation between q and n q is equal to n into e so how see having known only two quantities we can able to find the other quantity so what is e e we know that it is 1.6 into 10 to the raised to minus 19 coulomb so from this expression we can get what is n number of electrons can be written as q upon e so therefore n is equal to what is charge one coulomb so what is the charge of one electron 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 okay so this 10 raised to minus 19 when it goes up we will be getting 10 raised to 19 divided by 1.6 okay so i don't want 1.6 here so i'm going to multiply numerator and denominator by by 10 okay so by doing so what i get um, i get i can write the expression here in the numerator as 100 into 10 raised to 18 because here we have 10 raised to 20 right so that can be written as 100 into 10 raised to 18 so what is 1.6 into 10 it is 16 so what is uh, 100 divided by 16 mm, 16 6 are 96 so therefore uh, 6 6 so 100 minus 96 it's going to be 4 so 40 40 is 2 are okay 16 2 are we get 32 then uh, 40 minus 32 it's going to be 8 so 80 so 80 um, yeah Pfizer 16 Pfizer 80 so we get 6.25 into 10 raised to 18 okay so we got the number of electrons right so we shall see the next problem here in this problem, 
A current of 1 amps is drawn by a filament of electric bulb. Find the number of electrons passing through a cross section of the filament in 16 seconds. So what are the data is given? Here, current is given. Okay, current I, 1 amps. And time, which is 16 seconds, right? And we need to find the number of electrons that is n. So what is the formula that relates i, n and t? You know i is equal to q by t and uh, n is equal to n into n, uh, q is equal to n into e. So by making use of that formula we can get. Okay. So what are the data given that we have written and what to find we know. So what is the relation? We know n is equal to q by e. Uh, we know q is equal to i into t, right? So, we can substitute that. And do we know i? Yes, we know. We know t? Yes, we know. So, we can substitute i is 1 amps and uh, t is 16 seconds, yes. And e, we know it is 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 coulomb. So, by simplifying this, we will get 16 divided by 16 into uh, 10 raised to minus 20. 10 raised to minus 20. Here, 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 can be written as 16 into 10 raised to minus 20. Okay. So now when it when we take this to the numerator, we get 10 raised to 20. So 10 raised to 20. And here, numerator and denominator, we have 16. So, we can cancel 16. So, the answer is 10 raised to 20. Okay. Fine. So, we have found the unknown. Next. In the third problem, a current of 0.5 amps flows for 20 seconds through a small electric motor. How much charge has passed? So, let us see what all the data is given. So, current is given. I is 0.5 amps. Okay. And time 20 seconds. Fine. And what we need to find is how much charge. Charge is Q. We need to find what is Q. Right. So, what is the formula that relates this Q, I and T? It is Q is equal to I into T. So, we know the values. Then on substituting, what is I? 0.5 and what is T? It is 20. So, 0.5 into 20 uh, gives 10. That is 1 by 2 into 20, which is 10 coulomb. Fine. Let us move on to the next problem. Here in this problem, a current of 200 milliamps flows for 2 mi minutes. How much charge has passed? Here you need to know that the current given is 200 milliamps. So unit prefix is there. Milli is 10 raised to minus 3. So we need to write that. And 2 minutes. So we need to have in seconds. So therefore, minute should be converted to seconds. So 1 minute equals to 60 seconds. So 2 into 60 will give uh, the time. Okay, so what we need to find? We need to find the charge. Okay, so having written what is given, what is what to find, we can see what will be the expression relating to all this. I T Q I T. Yes, so therefore we can use the formula Q is equal to I into T. So 200 into 10 raised to minus 3 will be 0 0.2, isn't it? And what will be the time, time in seconds, it is 120, right? So, 120 into 0.2. So, on uh, multiplying this, we get 24 coulomb. So, we have found what is the total charge, having given the current on time. Fine. So, we'll move on to the next problem. Here in this problem, we need to calculate 
the amount of charge between the two points in a conductor when 100 joule of work is done for an applied voltage of 5 volt okay so what formula can we use so we have seen the two different formula q is equal to n into e q is equal to i into t having given uh, the given data so whatever the given quantities by uh, seeing the given quantities and what to find we need to uh, choose which formula has to be applied whether q is equal to n into e or q is equal to i into t or q is equal to w by v this is got from the voltage expression so here in this case we have a work done voltage and charges so therefore we need to go for this formula q is equal to w by v so w is 100 joule so we are substituting it and voltage is 5 volt so divided so we get q is equal to 20 coulomb right fine so we will move on to the next problem yeah so these are all the problems okay uh, given for practicing i think you can do all these uh, problems and practice so for doing all these problems the only thing you should remember is three formulas you need to remember q is equal to n into e q is equal to i into t q is equal to w by v okay so based upon the given data and the unknown we need to choose which expression we need to apply fine so n is given as number of electrons e is given in coulomb that is 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 coulomb q is given in amps time is given in seconds so therefore if it is given in minutes you need to convert to seconds if it is given in hour okay you have to convert it to, to seconds so you may be knowing that uh, one hour is equal to 3600 seconds fine suppose if one hour is given you need to convert to seconds and uh, work done in joule and work uh, voltage in volts okay i think you can do all these uh, problems fine if you have liked the video kindly comment and like share the videos to your friends see you in the next session the problems on current and ohm's law we'll get back to you again thank you